This is just an update on what's going on in the workplace. Yesterday I talked about how uh, one of my co-workers called me Powerhouse. Um, it is now July 30th, 2010, 5.43 p.m. Um, I just want to talk about <laughs> what happened early this morning. Okay. Um, this guy, a fellow co-worker of mine, was helping me, um, with my work. He was helping me, uh, lift up a heavy package. And, one of my so-called co-workers came out of nowhere and said to the guy in front of my face, wasn't looking in my face, mind you, said to the guy, yo, man, I don't think she, she like even want to help her. You know, and then walked off. So I confronted him about it. I kept calling him. I said, excuse me. He kept walking back. He, I know he heard me because I saw the, um, the, um, with, with the original, you know, he kind of cut his eyes at me a little bit, but without looking at me. But I know he heard me calling him. But anyway, I confronted him about it. Then he said, it's a joke. With a serious face. But the funny thing about it is he wasn't laughing. Nobody was. So this line bastard, that or that's a lot in my face. Um, then, okay, then, you know, we was wrapping up work and everything like that. It was the end of the, um, you know, work was done. We was wrapping everything up. My husband came to my work area. This bitch ass nigga runs to the other side. Well, first he was in the pit. And, you know, I told my husband everything. I was like, I don't think it was funny because, you know, I had some previous experience of that because it starts off with, yeah, because, let me tell you something. He wasn't joking. You know when somebody's joking, you know what somebody is saying is a joke to cop out on a bitch-ass move they just pulled. Then when you confront them, they throw back in the corner. They say, it's a joke. And then they say with a serious face, like they got an attitude because you confront them. First of all, think before you speak. Like I said in my last video, think before you open your damn mouth. First of all, I don't know this nigga. I don't know him. And he don't know me. And I don't care. I put up first if there's something wrong with him. You know? He do not know me like that. And, you know, my previous experience with the company, um, it starts off like that, and then it turns into one big mess. It starts off like that. Well, don't help her. She did good work, but don't help her. Um, let me work myself to death. Um, come home with all kinds of, you know, pains, aches and pains and stuff because you want to be an asshole. It starts off like that. Then it starts off with people lying on you, saying you don't do your job. I've seen it happen. It, 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 start, it patronize you, and they start off with, you know, start off with they say little smart ass little stuff like that. Then they start then you confront them, oh it's joking, I'm a, it's a joke, it's a joke. Then it's the, then it goes to they lying on you because they don't got shit on you, especially when you're quiet and you don't, you don't do nothing but do your job. And you don't really compensate too much with them. You know. You really got to think before you open your damn mouth. And like, you know, this guy, he, I don't know why he went on the other side. I mean, we already know where he lived at. So it's like, you know, come on. You know. And it's like, it's crazy, though. I mean, you're a grown-ass man, come on. Go the hell out. And I'm a woman, I'm a bad woman. He's seen me and my husband together. I don't know, he's jealous. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know this nigga from a can of paint. He just comes out of nowhere and just blurts that out like, he know me like that. You don't know me. The other dude... That said, what he said, he's seen me around a company for several years. He don't even know me either. Like that, to be talking to me like that. But, 
when he was saying it and he trying to front like it was a joke, at least he was laughing. This nigga wasn't even laughing. He said it was serious face. I don't think she liked anyone in her car. What the fuck is that? First of all, he need to concentrate on taking a bath because he got a real bad body wound, especially when that fan hit, hit it. You know, when he, when he stand from the fan, oh my God. He need to take a bath, soak in a very hot, hot bath. Then he need to turn around and take a shower after that bath. And he need to really wash his clothes with some heavy duty detergent, some game or something. Because that nigga stink. I ain't gonna come to work, start off at work stinking. But yet, you want to worry about who helped me or who I don't, you think I don't let help or whatever the case may be. Then he need to concentrate on doing his job. Instead of worrying about what the fuck I'm doing. You know, but it's, it's, it's crazy. It's like it's getting works up in there. So I don't know what the hell is the problem is. Really. That's why I deleted the first um, work area. Because it started off that way. That's how I starts off with little ass or sneaky ass jokes like that. And then they bruise over. And this dude is new. He don't think he even been there six months. You know, you got these old and I know these um old heads, they probably poisoning his mind, talking slick behind the scenes. And he was just dumb enough to somewhat say in my face. Not to my face, but in my face. It's a difference because the bitch ass nigga, the way he did it. He talked to the other guy like I'm third person, like I ain't there, but I'm right there. That's a little bitch move instead of just saying it off in my face. And then when I confront you about why, you know, why would you make a statement like that? Your response is, it's a joke. Nigga, please. And you wasn't even laughing. Nobody was. It wasn't funny. And I told him, I say that shit ain't funny. It ain't funny me getting my ass kicked and you helping this one on the one side of me, past me, helping the other one on another side of me, looking at me. You might help me a little bit when the manager's watching. You know, I might, come on now, get real, come on. And I don't even know his name, that's how little I think about it. I don't even know this nigga name. He probably know mine. I don't know his and I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, now and yesterday I didn't even work on the same side they were working you know, on. I just came over there at the end of the you know, end of the night to help wrap up. I wasn't even with them. They was and they asked me, I wasn't even on that side. So, you know, and it's gonna look like I'm gonna have to stay away from that side because most of them niggas on that side is crazy. On the other side of um work area. Something wrong with them. Seriously. You got one nigga, he, you know, he's supposed to be, you know, supplying us with our little, um, cans or whatever, with these little packages in. And he going around talking about he a pretty nigga. And, uh, you know, he'll box my husband and all that other shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, but he don't know my husband like that. He really don't know him. He won't last a minute. <laughs> he won't last a minute. But that's why look at this pretty face. He really think he's a pretty boy. When he really is a sucker. Really, he's a he's a sucker. What's a clown nigga is up in there for real? Damn. They need to be uh, careful who they hire up in there. Well. I don't know they get high or I don't know what their is, but you know, I'm just giving an update about what's going on. Um, if somebody else come up to me with some little dumbass statement like that, I feel like I'm going to have to go to management with this. Because this is getting out of control. Because, you know, it seems like I'm acting, but I've been through this before. And I let a lot of stuff slide, and it escalated, and it escalated, and it, it just like, boom, blew up in my face. So... Now, I learned to, you know, put a stop to it. I'm, I learned to confront people when they make little statements like that. I want to see where your head is at. I want to see where you're coming from. 
I know, you know, save your snake. Oh, you really joking. You know, I know who the snake's up in there, and I know who the real villain, you know, who, who are, you know, people that's genuine, and they, they there, um, not to cause any problems, no trouble. All that drama, I mean, come on, all that drama. We work a couple hours a night. All that drama for a couple hours. It's not about you, boo-boo, it's not about you. They make it all about them and whatnot. It's not about you. But that's all I wanted to say for now, the video update. Um, anybody make any dumbass comments again, uh, I'll be sure to make another video.